What is up YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you how to knit this really awesome lace stitch pattern. It's such a simple pattern that even if you've never knitted before, you can knit this. Um, so I'm actually going to be putting this on the hem of a skirt that I'm working on. Uh, but you can put this on any hem, on any blouse or skirt to spruce it up a bit. It's such a pretty lace pattern um, and it's so simple. I can't wait to show you guys. So what you'll need is some knitting needles. I'm using size 8 straight needles or 5 millimeters. Then you also need some yarn. I'm using a medium weight yarn, but if you like, you can use a thinner yarn to give it a more lacier look. The first thing you'll need to do is make a slip knot, which is your first stitch on the needle. So hold the yarn about a foot in Give it a twist and then reach through the loop, pull one of the strands up through the loop and then tighten by pulling both the strands. And then that loop will be your slip knot that you're going to place onto your needle. To tighten, hold both the strands and then pull to get it nice and close to the needle, but not too tight. Next, you're gonna cast on stitches. Hold the two strands in your left hand, and the strand on the bottom is the free end. That's the strand that's not connected to the rest of the yarn ball. Insert your index finger and your thumb between the two strands, pull up, and there should be a loop on your thumb and a loop on your index finger. Insert your needle under and through the loop on your thumb and then over and through the loop on your index finger. Pull the loop on your index finger through the loop on your thumb, drop the loop off your thumb and then pull the strand to tighten. There should be now two stitches on your needle. Repeat this until you have four stitches on your needle. Not the yarn strand that is free so that you're not knitting with that strand. And then pick up the other strand that's connected to your, your yarn ball and then hold it behind the needle. Hold the needles with the stitches in your left hand and then with your right hand needle, insert the needle through the bottom of this first stitch. Wrap your yarn counterclockwise around the right needle and then pull the yarn through that stitch. Slide the first stitch off the left needle and then you should have a stitch on your right hand needle. This is what's called the knit stitch. Repeat the knit stitch until you get to the end of the row. Once all the stitches are knitted, switch the needle from your right hand to your left hand and then move the free needle to your right hand. This is how you're going to begin the next row. For the second row, you're going to knit the first two stitches. And then you're going to do what is called a yarn over. So all that is, is wrapping the yarn counterclockwise around the right needle and then knit the last two stitches. The yarn over is just going to add an extra stitch in the row. So now there should be five stitches on the needle. For the third row, all you're going to do is slip the first stitch from your left needle to your right needle without knitting it and then you're gonna knit the rest of the row. For the fourth row, you're gonna knit the first three stitches
Then you're going to do a yarn over. And then knit the last two stitches. For the fifth row, you are going to knit the first two stitches. Then you're going to do a yarn over and then you're going to knit two stitches together. Insert the needle through two stitches, wrap the yarn around, pull it through, and then slide the two stitches off the left needle. Then you're going to do another yarn over and then knit the last two stitches. The sixth row is just like the third row where you're just going to slip the first stitch onto the right needle and then knit the last stitches. For the seventh row, you're going to knit the first three stitches. Then you're going to do a yarn over, knit the next two stitches together. Yarn over and then knit the last two stitches. For the last row, you want to bind off four stitches. So to do that, you're going to knit two stitches. And then insert the left needle through the first stitch on the right, pull it up and over the second stitch, and then off the needle. There should be only one stitch on the right needle now. Knit the next stitch. Insert your left needle in the first stitch, pull it over the second stitch, and then off the needle. Repeat this until you get to the last three stitches. And then knit the last three stitches. You'll end up with four stitches on the needle again so that you can repeat from row one. And that is the pattern. So just repeat this a few times and then you'll end up with something that looks like this. Thanks for watching guys. I hope this tutorial was really helpful for you. Feel free to leave a comment and make sure you subscribe for more videos. Talk to you soon.